Altogether, the discussions in which Ugandan ministers took part lasted an hour and three quarters. Mr. Rippon then drove to State House in Entebbe for lunch with the President. Before they sat down, they walked together through the grounds in friendly fashion. Doing well. We must see that the tree grows like a plant. <laughs> yes. <laughs> However irritating Mr. Rippon may have found it to be kept waiting so long for this meeting, he was clearly determined to establish friendly personal relations. As he said later, he'd not come to make threats. After its initial angry reaction, the British government has apparently decided that nothing is to be gained by a hectoring tone. The president called for champagne with which each side toasted the fruitful and friendly relationship they had established. But however warm the expressions of mutual regard, the press conference which followed the lunch made it clear that there was little agreement on how Uganda's decision to expel the Asians should be carried out. Through the discussion I have discussed with the minister and especially concerning the Asian, uh, I had made it uh, clear that uh, I am not changing my mind that the Asian uh, who as British citizens, they will have to go to England and uh, he has accepted that and uh, in a very friendly and a fruitful discussion which we have with him. During this, while we are waiting, uh, the British government will not put problem to Uganda that because of this we should wait for long Therefore, I think this arrangement, because we are now working day and night to process the uh, citizenship of Asians, and therefore we shall be ready because I'm sure that I will not accept any delaying tactics here in Uganda. Though Britain now accepts that President Amin will expel the Asians, there's clearly no agreement on how this can best be done. Mr. Rippon obviously thinks that 90, now 80 days, is far too short a time. President Amin fears that Britain will use delaying tactics. Whether the massive movement operation that must now begin can be carried through painlessly looks doubtful. Richard Lindley, News at 10, State House, Entebbe.